Offers Dyke, the 8th century earthwork which stretches the length of Wales, is one of our most important ancient monuments. This evening, an investigation is underway into reports a section of it near Chirk outside Wrexham has been flattened. Nearby residents and experts say they're horrified. Cadu, the Welsh Historic Monument Body, has stepped in to prevent any more damage and the police have been informed. Roger Pinney reports. Word was getting out today and local people wanted to see for themselves. Offers Dyke isn't just part of our history, here it's a tourist draw. It looks like an earth mover has built a track alongside the dyke on what was once the parallel ditch. Further along it appears as if the dyke, an earthwork mound, has been dug out. I've never seen destruction like this on an ancient monument ever. It absolutely shocks me. I am totally shocked. What well, we're promoting are the walks. We're trying to bring people in, and it's on the verge of the, the edge of the World Heritage Site. This is a devastating event, as far as I'm concerned. It isn't clear when the damage was done, but Cadu's posted notices stopping any further work on what is, in theory, a protected monument. Rob McBride spent the last five years surveying the dike and the many ancient trees growing along it. He's shocked by what he's seen. It's hard to fathom people's um, thought process when they do something to to a, a national treasure like this. Um, it's, it's the same, I felt the same, similar when the Pont Fatico blew over, you know, which was a natural event. This is not a natural event. Offers Dyke stretches the length of Wales from Chepstow in the south to Prostatid in the north. It's longer even than Hadrian's Wall. And what's remarkable is that so much of it has survived the ravages of time. In places, the dyke stands out in the countryside as it's done since Offa, the Anglo-Saxon king of Mercia, had it built around 1,200 years ago. It was never a defensive line, more a national boundary, separating his lands from Wales. It's definitely a monument of international significance. It's the largest earthwork of the early medieval period in Britain. And um, it, there are other dikes, but this is the largest of them. These days, many view it simply as one of our most famous long-distance walks. To others, it's an important, symbolic link with our past. If that is actually on the line of the dike itself, then obviously it's, you know, it's, it's terrible that that should happen. Well, it's very worrying to see that kind of uh, destruction, really. It, you know, it, words fail me, really. Any investigation now will want to discover who did it and why. Here, Offa's dike runs through private land. Damaging it is punishable by a fine or up to two years in prison.